Today, cheerleaders are an integral part of almost every sport. They do not only cheer for their favorite team, but they also make the whole atmosphere within a stadium livelier and more exciting through their cheers and moves. Many people argue that cheerleading culture is wrong as it promotes sexism. Whatever your views are on the topic, there's one thing that can't be denied. No game would be the same without the cheerleaders, which is why cheerleading is so famous in the US and elsewhere. Cheerleaders enjoy being photographed while looking their best or performing a good move. But like everyone else, they also hate seeing photographs of them captured at the wrong moment. Too bad for them, such photographs make for great entertainment. In this video, we share with you the most embarrassing cheerleader photos ever taken. Our favorites are number 12 and 15, so keep watching and enjoy. The one with the animated faces. When you look at cheerleader photos, you normally see women with beautiful bodies and megawatt smiles. However, this picture here is a rarity because not one cheerleader has her smile on. While one particular lady looks like she's in complete agony, the girl sticking her tongue out looks like she just found out she's won half a million dollars at the lottery. The other two are definitely enjoying themselves, but not in ways we expect cheerleaders to. The prize for the animated facial expression certainly goes to the lady in the middle. She's having the most fun and isn't afraid to show it. On a related note, did you know that cheerleaders have their own competitions, where contestants are judged based on various attributes such as dancing, stunting, tumbling, and more? Well, the life of a cheerleader isn't as easy as you think. The one where the male cheerleader looks like he's focusing at the wrong place or the wrong body part. This picture is a very good example of a picture taken at the wrong moment, or should we say at the right moment. The picture may be embarrassing for the male cheerleader, who looks like he's focused on judging the uniform as well as a certain part of the female cheerleader's body. It certainly is fun to look at, and whoever sees this picture won't be able to hold back a chuckle. The female cheerleader looks like she'll hit the ground any moment, and the cheerleader in the background is certainly enjoying the scene before her. Fun fact, while cheerleading is considered an American sport, it's popular around the world. And while cheerleading is primarily considered to be an all-female sport, it started off as an all-male activity in 1977. The lady who hasn't figured out her cheerleading face yet. You may think cheerleading is all about dancing, stunting, cheering, and tumbling. While all those things are important, a cheerleader must also work on her cheerleading face. After all, the face is where the camera goes often. Unfortunately, we don't think anyone shared this important piece of information with this young lady. She certainly hasn't figured out her good cheerleading face yet, and the mess her hair is in here isn't helping either. We really think the other ladies on our team should have come to the rescue, at least in the hair department. Cheerleading fact. The film Bring It On, starring Eliza Dushku, Gabrielle Union, and Kirsten Dunst, was a popular hit and added to the popularity of cheerleading as a sport. Here's why white does not make a great cheerleading uniform. If there's one thing this picture teaches us is that white does not make a good cheerleading uniform. We're pretty sure the cheerleader in focus here had her leg up in the air for just about a second, and nobody in the audience really noticed what we're seeing in the picture. However, there was one cameraman around who clicked the capture button at an inopportune moment and gave us another entry for this list. Look at the beautiful smile on the cheerleader's face. We bet this picture is her worst nightmare come true. If you think this picture is embarrassing, wait for our top five. We bet our topmost pick will make you laugh for days, so stick around. Meanwhile, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. The one where the cheerleader looks happily surprised. The Dallas Cowboys cheerleading squad is one of the oldest as well as one of the most popular in the world. The squad debuted in 1960 and has appeared on several TV shows since then. In this picture, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader in the frame looks both surprised as well as happy. She's certainly enjoying the attention she's getting, but she shouldn't be so happy considering the team she's cheerleading for has just had a mishap. This picture also proves that cheerleading is not always a fun sport. Sometimes it can turn dangerous too. Thankfully, the cheerleader here is okay, but her reaction is certainly funny. Great abs, but that cheerleading face needs some work. We just can't take our eyes off this beautiful cheerleader's abs. We can't even imagine having abs as great as hers. While this lady here has certainly worked on her body, she hasn't given much thought to her cheerleading face. This one closed eye and tongue out face is certainly not working in her favor. The one with too much teeth. Why is this picture on our list? Well, the lady at the back and her expression is funny. But what's funnier is the gentleman in the front who thinks he's giving us a big smile, but is actually scaring the daylights out of us. His animated smile tells you, here's a man who no one should mess with. Another cheerleading fact. While Princeton was the first university to enjoy cheers from the stands, the University of Minnesota gets the credit for having the very first cheerleader who directed the crowd. In 1923, the University of Minnesota also became the first university to allow women to participate in the sport. The guy with too much spirit. Cheerleaders must be physically fit and should be able to dance well. More importantly, they must necessarily also have spunk and spirit. However, when it comes to cheerleading, is there a thing as too much spirit? Well, the man in this picture makes us believe it's quite possible. His high spirit may have led to one embarrassing photo, but we certainly think too much spirit is better than having no spirit at all. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. This picture is worth a thousand words, and the right picture is worth a million. A picture is worth a thousand words, and the right picture is worth a million. The man behind the lens must be applauded for 
pressing the capture button at the right moment. This photo was taken right at the moment the cheerleader realized things aren't going her way and she'll probably fall. We feel bad for her, but the dread on her face makes the picture hilarious. This photograph was most likely taken during a competition, and if that's true, I'm sure the fall didn't do the cheerleader any good. The one with too much going on in one picture. Okay, this is cheerleading taken to another level, and we're sure the moves on display here require too much skill. Okay, this is cheerleading taken to another level, and we're sure the moves on display here require a lot of skill. However, in the picture, the entire thing looks too awkward. To start with, the male cheerleader looks like he's preparing to launch the girl on his back into the room. Secondly, his tongue is too close to the girl in front, which makes the whole picture even more awkward. This picture may not be as embarrassing as it is bizarre. Time for another fun fact. It was only in the 1950s that professional sports teams began employing cheerleader squads, and the Baltimore Colts were the first NFL team to have a cheerleading squad. A cheer pyramid gone wrong. Creating a cheer pyramid is not easy and requires years of practice and experience. We're sure all the people in this picture are incredibly talented cheerleaders, but it looks like it wasn't the team's day. A cheer pyramid gone wrong can never be a pretty sight, and this picture proves just that. Every person in this picture looks hurt and in pain. The blonde girl at the top is falling into a guy's face, and the girl on the left probably broke one male cheerleader's neck, the other's face, and her own nose. We don't know how all this happened, but looking at it makes us feel terrible. Hey, my head is stuck in the wrong place. The guy in the picture must have been embarrassed to see this picture, but it certainly makes for a good laugh. The guy looks happy because he probably thinks his head is stuck in the right place, and the girl on his right is also enjoying his goofy expression. The female cheerleader on the top is doing a very impressive split, and she knows it. Just look at the confidence on her face. However, we bet the picture didn't please her at all. Sorry, but I can't lift her. Being a male cheerleader isn't easy. To start with, they don't enjoy the same kind of popularity as their female counterparts. However, more importantly, male cheerleaders often have to lift their fellow squad members and perform moves and steps which require a lot of physical strength. For instance, the guy in this picture is certainly trying very hard, but he clearly does not have the strength for it. Here's another fun fact. Six NFL teams, the Buffalo Bills, Chicago Bears, Cleveland Browns, Green Bay Packers, New York Giants, and Pittsburgh Steelers don't have any cheerleading squads. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. In the cheerleading world exists a rule. If you throw someone in the air, make sure to catch them. When you look at this picture, you realize three of the four girls followed the rule and did their part, but the fourth cheerleader probably lost her focus. This picture tells us what happens when cheerleaders lose their focus and things go wrong. We told you, cheerleading isn't as easy as it looks. What a crappy day. The picture here is definitely in the running for top prize in the most embarrassing cheerleader photos category. We all have had bad stomach days, but thankfully there's no one around to take a picture of our life's most embarrassing moment. Unfortunately, this cheerleader wasn't so lucky. She was having a crappy day, and someone decided to take a picture of it. We're not sure who we should feel worse for, the cheerleader or the ladies underneath her who are at the receiving end of it all, literally. If you want to understand how grave the situation is, just look at the faces of the ladies on the right. So, did you enjoy this compilation of the most embarrassing cheerleader photos ever taken? Which photo made you laugh the most? Share it with us in the comments. And if you enjoy Facts vs. videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos.